welcome back to what I'm on today. Today we're going to be talking about the black denim quilted tabby in the size 26 so stay tuned. Thankful for this beat. Thankful for my dad, man, he kept me from the street. Man, I'm thankful when I eat. Thankful for my wife. Thankful for my freak. When they saw each other last week. Hey y'all, welcome back to what I'm on today. My name is Lakia Chanel and I make videos about all things handbags, both luxury and contemporary because you guys already know that I do not discriminate. And of course, we also talk about whatever it is that I am on today. So yes, we have all especially me, have been on this coach quilted tabby tear. I was lucky enough to pick up this baby when it dropped, which was maybe a week or so ago. Maybe it was this week. Maybe it was a week or so ago or, or last week. Um, it came online. I stayed up until like midnight to make sure that I was able to get this bag. I really wanted this particular size in the denim because I have this size in the blue denim, which is the size 20. Originally, my essay told me that I should get the 26 in the blue denim size. And I said, well, it's only a difference of $100, but you know, am I gonna be wearing a denim bag that much? I have so many bags. Maybe I'll just invest in the smaller one, save 100 bucks. Well, that turned into me thinking so hard and wanting to exchange it to get the size 26, and then the 26 wasn't available because it was sold out everywhere. And then I said, you know what? I actually like the blue denim. I like this size. It's just enough denim for me. And I am going to get the black denim one in the size uh, 26. This uh, size 26 is the second black denim that I have in my collection, period. And they both happen to be from Coach. This is the uh, Feel Tote I want to say in the size 18 or size 20. I will put the information below. But just wanted you guys to be able to see and hopefully you can see just the difference in the material. So this one is denim jacquard. Um, and this one is like really like denim, like the denim that I have on right now in jeans. So very similar, but also different. So in my collection, they will probably serve similar purposes let's be honest but I like the idea of having one top handle and one of them be a flat bag so let's get into it um, and as I'm getting into it and showing you around the bag I will give you my first impressions of the bag first impressions bag is great I love it I know that people have been having um, quality issues I haven't had any so far and I've got three of these um, right now of the quilted tabbies one two yes three quilted tabbies so far and all of mine are great so far so maybe I just lucked out um, but this has the silver hardware uh, the stitching on this guys is brown um, and then of course it has the brown hang tag so it comes with a back pocket which you guys are probably familiar with and it is a pocket that is a magnet um, and then this is double flap. So you open up the first flap um, and uh, there are three different um, slots. There's a slot in the back, one big one in the front. They are about the same size. And then there is a zip pocket in the middle. And then you have this little uh, front pocket as well. As you guys can see, I have this stuffed because I actually did wear it today. Um, and then I'll show you guys what this fits, which... I was a little bit surprised because I feel like this one is probably a little bit more um, stretchy and malleable maybe than the leather version of this. So I feel like this probably holds a little bit more than the leather version. Um, I wore these kind of ashy denim jeans so that I could be kind of matchy matchy but hopefully I don't know if you guys can see this hopefully you can um, you can see kind of the comparison with the denim jeans and the actual denim bag so if you do have like kind of that black ashy gray denim perfect with the bag so let me show you guys what this fits um, the most important thing guys you guys know I'm so lazy and you see all the time in my um, you know, what fits in my bag or what I have in my bag, I always have this. So it is a tight squeeze, but my pochette accessoire 
absolutely fits in this bag and um i have it stuffed with all the stuff that it normally is stuffed with so um yes i was surprised when i threw it in there and it actually fits so i was very very excited about that so a pochette accessoire can fit in here and it can be stuffed and still fit which is also really really great because when i wear this bag which is the handheld tote as you guys can see the pochette accessoire is like sticking out so you know i still wear it but you know i don't love it but i'm, I'm too lazy oftentimes to put it in you know a couple of other smaller pouches okay so i have got also my wallet here and then I've got um, my phone in the back and all of that fit uh, pretty well. I mean, it was full, obviously, I would say um, with that thick pochette accessoire, but it closed well and it closed fine and I wore it out today and it was great. So this is a very structured bag. I don't want to say very. It's a structured bag that's not going to collapse on itself, but it is also like a kind of squishy bag as well. Um, I am pretty sure these things are going to come back in stock. Um, so I would definitely recommend this one. This retails for $5.50. I know that uh, I've heard, you know, a lot of people kind of griping that, you know, the denim version of this bag is the same price as the leather version of the bag and people are kind of feeling a way about it um for me and this is just me i don't care um if i were to get this from ysl it would be so much more i actually do have a bag from ysl that is denim and guys when i purchased this bag and i have another toy lulu in leather they were the same price there was not a price uh, differentiator as far as I can remember with these bags. I think I paid, I want to say I paid 1200 for the leather one and I paid 1200 for this one too, or around that same, maybe 14 for both, maybe 12 for both. I can't remember. It's been a while, but long story short, I don't think that's, I understand what people are saying because this is fabric and denim and then the other one is leather, but I don't know. I, I don't personally mind it at all i think for me it's it's worth it it was worth that 500 bucks i actually got a 20 percent off coupon um i watched the um handbag housewife and she had that coupon as well i hadn't purchased anything from coach in a while and they sent me a 20 percent off coupon so i was like all right i'm gonna wait i'm gonna wait for this so i actually did not get this through my essay which is you know how i typically get a lot of my bags I waited so that I could use my 20% off coupon and I was able to get this for $440 as opposed to $550. I think I already told you guys that I recommend this. I definitely recommend it. It's so cute. It's fun. I feel like it's super classic. Just, you know, to me, any flat bag is going to be classic, but it looks classic and classy so um i would say absolutely yes like if you can get anything from this collection if you're like into the vibe of this collection i would say pick up what you can i do think that they're going to come out with other colors um you know let time pass as well maybe not for the denim but if they restock the denim maybe because all this stuff goes on sale eventually so if you are not into paying the prices that they have right now patience is a virtue that i personally have not been great at over the past couple of years however um you be better than me you be better than me and you get this on sale um but if you have any questions about this please leave it below oh before i go i want to show you how it looks on me so this is how it looks as a shoulder bag which um i like it fits really nicely it's fairly close to the body without my pochette accessoire in it um this is how it looks as a crossbody and hopefully you guys can see it is a little bit below my waist i personally have been wearing all of my quilted tabbies even the size 20 i have been taking the chain whether it's this one or this one whichever one is flat and then putting the long piece through it and then i have been wearing it like this because to me, this is like the perfect crossbody drop. I like my crossbodies 
like right here right here is like the perfect perfect like drop for me so um yes i love that it has the grommets on both sides where you can actually do that because with the chanel mini you cannot but obviously with the other sizes of uh, the chanel classic flaps you can so i've been wearing all of mine whether they are the size 20 or this well this is my only size 26 i have been absolutely wearing them like this as a crossbody so um i think it looks super cute and i love this kind of chain drop on me so now for real if you have any questions leave a comment below um and i'll give you all the answers that i can um on this cute beauty right here but thank you guys again for sharing yet another weekend with what i'm on today and i will see you guys soon bye Thankful. I'm thankful. I'm thankful.